What's up guys, welcome back to the drawing tutorial, Michael Kaiser from the Blue Lock Manga. Good character, thought I'd give him a go. So this is from the manga, it's got two hands, tattoos and stuff, so characters with tattoos take a while, just so you know. So let's give this a go. So, page is moving. Right, center point of my page is about here. We're going to come up, start with his eye, right, so his head is like slightly to the left. So, big thick eyelashes in the manga right so you go up cross spike it down back up right you want to thicken up the top as well so very dark eyes kind of hooks out the back down like that right so one of those thick lines and then another sort of hook coming down this way so then his bottom eyelid line is just like a dotted sort of broken line just going that way for the bottom All right and then we have another line coming out the front and then his iris so a half circle coming down from the top eyelid line and the pupil just there maybe another skin fold eyelid line on top he's got like two of these right so a flat one and then a bumping one like so and then his eyebrow curving up and down like so and then just add a section in there where you could add some color so his other eye just across this you're about eye width like his eyes are pretty big so, but it's like the white of his eye i would say fits in between both of his eyes and then you just do that same sort of thing again so you go up across like so like, and like a lot of this is under hair we'll just draw in what we can see anyway so got like spiking coming down here and you got to thicken this up right so you got to like add but like again some of it's under here so you can't see it see it this thicker section And then this bottom eyelid line just kind of comes across the bottom here. That's all they draw in, really. And the other spike comes down his eye here at the back. Some people color that red. But that's up to you, of course. Do, 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 do. Right, iris, half circle. Like so, pupil, like that, and then eyelid lines again, flat one, and then a round one, and then his eyebrow just goes this way. Just thicker at the front. So we're, it's manga, right? So it's not like perfectly drawn or anything. It's not like an anime. This eyebrow sort of has a nose line just there. Right, so then his nose, diagonal there, a nostril going this way, and then a big sort of smile. So it's like he's talking, right? And it starts like underneath his pupil. So it comes like across this way. So we'll make it look like it's cold first. Closed, sorry. He is cold. <laughs> he's a cold dude, right? So it's like it's cold, closed. But we'll just open it up. Like that, right? And you could have like shadow underneath his bottom lip. Do 
so chin relatively pointy like that and then it sort of just curves it this way so he's got like long hair right so most of his jaw will be underneath his hair and on this side goes this way like so There's kind of a black shadow in at the side of his mouth as well. Right, so his hairline, so it's kind of parted on this side, right? So you've got like hair going, this V, right? And then texture lines here. And then these hair spikes come down. Across his face. this one sort of covers his eye a little bit so you can erase anything or color over this section it's so lots of these sort of Hairlines going this way. Another one here. They're kind of square ends. They're drawn in real rough. You can tell the artist is comfortable with his pen. So we go curve the ear around. More comfortable than me, anyway. And then we got like this letter J inside. And like more t hair texture lines going this way. Curving around like so. Hair spike here. Coming down. So this is like the part of his hair. And we've got like one that goes that way. Some more sticking out this way. Like that. Sometimes they don't close them over, they just add just lines coming down this way. So it's fun to draw it in different manga styles because you really see how the artist draws it. And it's tricky to copy. Right, and then more hair on this side. Kind of comes over his neck as well. Long out the back of his neck, so you got a neckline here, and then long out this way. Some coming in onto his neck at the front. And then his neck will go down here. Then we have a collar. Right of his jersey. And then we got like neck muscle lines just here. And what looks like a rose tattoo. So it's done black. It's 
sort of petal leaves. Well, I think it's a rose. It could be a sort of another flower. But... Like that. Right. Now, anatomy and hands and things, right? So shoulder goes out this way. Right in my jersey here. We've got a hand that comes across. Other shoulder comes down like so to there. Okay. So chest here, body sort of goes down this way. And he's got like all this energy sort of coming off him. So like flame and, but it's all black sort of. And it's kind of random, so. Kind of going that way. So two hands, right? So his tricep comes out this way. And then we got like his forearm and elbow just coming down here. Right? So this is like his elbow and his forearm just coming up this way, right? So the unusual shape. Right, and this comes out to his hand, right? The top of his hand is like here. That's pr it's pretty flat, actually. Just goes up to like his index finger, curves up again, changes direction for a knuckle, goes down that way. And then like the palm of his hand here around for his pinky, right? And then you've all the fingers in between, right? So say like, so if that's his knuckle, there'd be a knuckle here, a knuckle here and here right so we're coming down a line and each of these will be a finger and you want to like change direction at each knuckle the fingers usually have three segments one two three like that so i'll do that again one two three of course it depends on the artist who's drawing it and then one two three do that again one Three, and they usually curve up down like that right? and then like hand lines and knuckle lines and stuff all going back that way and fingernails and he does have a tattoo on this arm, but I won't draw that in yet because it's complicated. So in the back of his, is that hmm. this thing with manga as well? Sometimes it's not very clear. So I think his body comes down from here. All right, so he's kind of leaning back. So his other arm. I think we can see a shadow of his finger here, actually. Yeah. All right, and his other arm, down, elbow, forearm, comes up that way. Elbow lines and stuff. Bicep sort of in here. And then his sleeve of his jersey, like that. I don't know how YouTube feels about the word that's written across here. I just thought of that. 
Sometimes YouTube does not like bad language, my friends. So I won't mention his team. <laughs> but you know. You know. <laughs> Munching. So adding just some more of this energy now coming off. It's like blue or black flame. It's black in the manga. It's blue when people color it. And then the side of his hand. So the bump here around for his hand. Back of his hand comes out that way. And fingers again. So he's doing like this sort of Thanos glove type thing. So finger one section, second section, third section. So you're changing direction. The, the first one's like bigger normally. It's longer than the other two. See here, shorter, shorter. And then we just curve around the top. Two, three. And then we go to the next finger. One, two, three. And around, two. Next finger in front. One, two, three. Down. It's like dancing. One, two, three that curve it in and then this finger kind of goes this way and it's curved over so it's only two sort of sections are going in right and then like the palm of his hand just sort of the back of his hand kind of drawn in here and then we've got like some knuckle lines Going down this way. Got these curved lines going down here. And then little finger, fingernails and things. Like that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and thumb. You can just see his thumb just at the back here. Like so. Do, 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 do. Okay, so patterns and details on the jersey. So we've got the golden line coming down from here. Right, and then here. And then, so this is um, a long and complicated part because there's like words and text and everything. So I'll just motor on with this because there's not much to say. You just try and copy it as best you can. Okay, so these are the golden lines that are on the edges, right? And then there is some sort of full line for the center of his chest here, maybe like a chest line. Then we have in the center, we've got the sword. So we got like a circle here, side of this sharp hilt. And then the actual blade coming down like so, and the line in the middle. And then we have an Adidas like um symbol here All right and then the the crest i nearly said it i don't know if i can i don't know what the i think the bad language i can't remember youtube's term, terms of service with bad bad language and then the crest inside I'll do it as best I can. So like another sword here. And I guess I could draw, because it's not a T, so 
technically. So we'll go with Right, like that, and then ARD. <laughs> I know it would be a really good name for a soccer team, though. Or should I say football, depending on what part of the world you're from? See, in Ireland, we have football like Irish football, GA, and then there's soccer, football, English football. There's American football, so many different types. But there's only one of them that actually you just play with your feet. So I guess that has to be the one that you call football. Right, and then M-U-N. I'll do this one black because it's so thin. Like so. Okay, so the tattoo on his arm is, so straight line, we'll just do the best we can. And there's these bumping lines. They're quite thick. This is optional, of course, you could draw him without the tats. Right, and then we have This rose line sort of wrapped around his arm. So I'm just doing it like super thick. These lines. and stuff. Another one going this way. Do 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 this actually nearly touches this one and then there's another little spike that goes that way. And then a leaf. And then there's like little spikes that come off all these. And I wonder, like, does the manga artist have to, like, every time he draws Kaiser's arm, he has to do this? Or maybe he does it, like, digitally after. You know, the way you can just, like, wrap it sort of around any arm these days. You know, you can do magical things on Photoshop. Right, and maybe like some more flame coming off him. Like that. All right, but I think that's enough for me. That's how to draw Michael Kaiser from Blue Lock. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.